guys, I'm going to do part two, and I'm going to continue with the Senko, because what I'm about to show you, what I'm about to show you, instead of using a dip and go to change the color of the Senko, I'm going to show you a trick. I'm going to show you a trick. This right here is a Yamamoto red color, full color Yamamoto red color. And this pack right here, in this pack, in the Yum pack, was a chart chartreuse color right that chartreuse color let me make this simple and easy i ran out of the actual char chartreuse color senko so I i'm gonna show you through my laptop how it looks and how it came after this this color right here was a tra chartreuse color and I, and I and i change it to this color look how it looks after that's so cool that's pretty cool. Instead of using a dip and go, I just did it like that. And I'm and, and I'm gonna show you how I did it. Just let me show you the chartreuse color. I just ran out of worm, guys. I don't have no more of those. So let me just show you real quick. So this is the char char chartreuse color. Right there, right? So what I did with this color, it came in the pack, right? In the pack of the young on the young pack. So what I did, so what I did with the Yamamoto. This is the Yamamoto color red. I put this color, bunch of um the whole pack inside the chartreuse color. I put a bunch of them in there and then I close them right, and then I just shake them like that, and I closed it. And left it there for about a week. And then after a week, it became this color. Trans translucent color. That's pretty cool. That's a new trick. I changed the color like that. I know it took a week, but if you guys want to save money, there you go. I changed the color like that. I try to make it at... As easy and simple as possible. I know I had to do all that with the laptop because I ran I ran out of the yum chartreuse color. And yeah, so this pack, these were the chartreuse. You don't you see that they're not chartreuse anymore, right? So what I did is I put that red Yamamoto color inside the yum chartreuse. A week later, boom, I changed the color. Make it translucent. This is like probably like a, let me see. I would say like a, it's hard to explain. This is like a different rare color. Or like, like root beer color. It looks like root beer to me. Look, root beer color. That's pretty cool. So yeah, guys, I, I wanted to show this in part two with the Senko. I know it was, I make it as simple as possible to understand because I ran out of that color. Like I said, in this young color with the chartreuse. I put the Yamamoto red color in there, and then, boom, root beer color. Change it to a root beer color, dude. That's pretty cool. Instead of using the dip and go, that's a new a new trick that I, that, that I learned. Uh, and yes, guys, I wanted to show you that. And let me see what else am I missing. I think that that, that, that is explainable. That is you guys should try that. I know it takes like a week or so, so it can change the color of the process, but it works, guys. And I catch a bass. I, I, they like it. They love it. They love the bat. They, they love it. You know. Yeah, I'm sorry that I didn't show the other pack because I ran out of those worms. I, I checked all my gear and I thought I had it, but I did not. But yes, I'll make it as easy as possible to explain what I just. Did to change the color of the Senko to make it a root beer color. I'm explaining one more time what I did. I put a Yamamoto red or red color worm inside the pack of Yum Dinger. You know the, the Yum Dinger were chartreuse color, right? This this were chartreuse and I converted them into a root beer color. Instead of buying the dip and go liquid and dip it in. Fix the problem. Change it to a new color. You can try other colors too. It will work. Trust me. 
But like I say, take seven days. You know, you don't want to wait seven days and buy the dip and go. But I like doing it like this so I can make myself an experiment and how to catch bass in a different way. And that's all I wanted to say in part two, guys. And I'll see you guys later. Keep fishing. Keep catching them bass. I'll see you next time.